Sup nerds, Wired here, and we are back playing some more Dragon Age 2 tonight. Now, we were going to continue with doing this quest, however, I did receive a comment, well, a private message on YouTube, which told me, oh, this quest, the lost, this one, the scrolls, you completely walked by that, and the wounded, uh, whatever it's called, wounded beach, ugh. The Wounded Coast. That I should go back and just walk around a little bit and I'll find a boss because I picked one up. So that's what we're going to do. We might as well do this quest if we're going to do anything. But yeah. I want to thank the person who sent me that message. Thank you. You know who you are. Uh, I don't I don't want to give out your name because I'm not sure if I have permission to give out your name. If that's cool. But either way, we're going to definitely finish this game tonight. It's really late at night right now, and I actually was busy up until now, because, uh, well, it's a personal matter, but needless to say, uh, I have time now, so we're gonna just, uh, work on this now. So I don't know exactly where this is, but he told me it's here. It's somewhere in the Wounded Coast, so we're actually gonna just run around real quick, see if we can't figure this out. Kunari around here, huh? Figured they had given up after I killed their whole race. I think we're better off focusing on the task at hand. Oh, Anders, quiet. I don't know exactly where this is. He just was. The message was really vague. Of course, I didn't expect like a 20-page paragraph telling me exactly where to go. So we'll figure it out. It's got to be in here, though. He said it's in around the Wounded Coast. If you guys remember, when we picked up that item, it said, Oh, it has opened up a new path. So that's what we're pursuing. The secret path has a chest today. Torn slaver invoice. Honestly, as this game is winding down, we really are coming to the end. There's not much left to do. We've got all the gear we need. Fully equipped rogue. I'm interested to see what people think. Especially some of you guys that actually have this game have already beaten it already. Um, I used to have a lot more time to play uh, games, but now it's kind of up and down. But, you know, I've done my best to try to get this playthrough up as fast as I possibly could. Especially under my time schedule. So, I mean, if people are coming to my channel... Uh, you know, I'm not going to be the first person to upload every time, not even close. But hopefully you like the commentary, you like uh, just the atmosphere I'm trying to set. I want people to get involved, I want your opinions, I want to hear what you guys are doing. Because a lot of people on YouTube are only here to try to make money, quick buck, by trying to sub for sub and things like that. I don't care if people subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, don't. Don't subscribe. But get involved. Even if you're not a subscriber, please comment on my channel, comment on my videos. If you think they suck, tell me they suck. I'm doing my best to, uh, I really want to up the production values of all my videos.
I just want this to be a channel that people can come to, see newer games, older games, uh, retro games, things like that, and not have to be bombarded with ads and solicitation, things like that. That's all I'm looking for. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, he's saying that now. But that's what I want my channel to be. That's what I want. I don't care if I have a hundred subscribers, a thousand, a million, it doesn't really matter. Just as long as somebody's watching, I'm going to keep making videos. So, now I will be drying my tears and continuing on with the game. Shield of the Knights left. Lord Baring's Wall. Garbage. Not going to sell those, obviously. Enchanted. Boots of the Void. 39 attack, 5% spirit damage, 3 chance to stealth when hit. Like gauntlets. Amulet, amulet. Sell it. Ornate belt. Might as well sell it, no one's using it. It's, it's pretty much a fire sale at this point. Just trying to get rid of all our junk. So we can start investing in some nicer gear. Places hunger for people. What are you selling, dude? Are you selling that belt I want? I think you are. Oh. I'm not trying to sell it. I'm trying to buy it. Is this the dude? Seven deadly cinch. Two crit chance, nine crit damage, two percent physical damage. Durantstone's belt. Ring of the Ferryman. Remember that. How much is that? Twenty-four. We're close. Probably should, be, probably should get no it eventually. All right. We still haven't found this. Uh, area that it opened up, or whatever it's called. Still looking for this. This guy. Unless, of course, I already killed him and didn't even notice it. I probably did. the last section that I have not gone through so if he's not in here then I think we're we've either already killed him and didn't even notice or something else happened nope there's nothing here let me check this inventory let me check real quick Search for more scrolls and hidden lairs to reveal an ancient evil. Hmm. I don't know. I think we've already gotten this one. Not sure. Let me read this all. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully this is right. Why is everyone on hold? Get off hold. Follow me. I don't know, I'm starting to think I killed this thing already and just didn't even realize it, just thought it was like normal enemy when I killed it. I know, this is a huge waste of time right now. I'm 
sorry guys, I'm just trying to follow up on this lead. I want to do everything I can. This is one of the quests. Can't possibly be fun watching this, I understand. I'm just not seeing where this possibly could be. Oh. Well, shit. Color me retard. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Could have saved us so much time and effort. Okay, what does it say to do? Oh. First aspect. A hidden layer has been added to the map. Fall to see what lies beneath. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Uh, toggle labels. Here's the hidden layer right there. Okay, so we're on the right path. Oh, sorry. Thank you who sent me the uh, message. You know who you are. Thank you very much. I just made everyone like <laughs> wait twi ten times longer than they had to to get this thing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it gave me plenty of time to rant on about what... How, uh... I want everyone to get involved in the channel, but I do. buff is off. Everything is off. Well, that wasn't... I wouldn't call that a hidden lair. Brutal of the Elders, huh? Inventory. What's it do? Plus 8 healing to this character, 13 health, 3 damage resistance. Oh, that's for uh, uh, this one. There you go. Enjoy. Okay. Pride Unbound. Now what do I do? Ah, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything else, huh? Hmm. focusing on the task at hand. All right, we're going to continue hunting these scrolls, I think. I think these are the two best daggers you can get. So I'm going to put that really really special uh Attack speed bonus in the Lost Blade, or whatever it's called. The really nice one that does 44 dam DPS? Where's it at? Uh, this one, the Low Blade. This one's the best one, I think. Put that 23% attack speed in that, gives it 26%. And I'm probably gonna switch to, like, uh, Karja's left hand. That way, every attack, I have a chance to lower their movement speed and attack speed by 50%. That might be pretty strong, especially against these bosses that might be coming up. I don't know, I'm just trying to, like, uh, strategize right now. <laughs> 